Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's day two of Astro Season and we're doing this again today because I was like, why not? Yesterday was fun. Let's do it again. Um, so yeah, Aether Raids again. Uh, a couple changes to the team from yesterday. So first of all, we are running Iot's Shield on Claude. Yesterday's experience with Duo Chrom definitely scared me a bit, so we definitely don't one-shot him all the time, which really makes me worry about him on Bridal Catria teams. Like, if he doubles, um, we definitely don't survive those two effective hits. So we've got Iot Shield, we're gonna try this out. Uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully the results are good today. And another change that someone in the comments suggested, which is going to make my setup much easier, is Plumeria now is running speed defense gap instead of hone flyers. So uh, she can actually give Claude this speed defense gap, plus five to speed and defense from anywhere on the map, which is a lot easier than having to set up hone flyers. So this way I am losing out on one speed, but I am gaining five defense as well. And again, the setup is much easier. So I think that one speed will never make a difference. Uh, so we're running with this. So thank you to whoever it was in the comments. I don't remember your name, but thank you so much for suggesting that. So uh, that's what we are going with. Um, and aside from that, he still needs to be within two spaces of Astra to get the attack res plus six and null panic. But uh, that is a lot easier to set up than consistently having her within two spaces and Plumeria adjacent. So uh, yeah, hopefully that works a little bit better. Um, in terms of defense results, we got a success in lift loss control followed by a failure outside of lift loss control, uh, such as the way of either aids defense, so we'll take a look at those after. I gotta say though, it feels really nice to see minus 34 instead of minus 40. Like, mythic defense merges are one of those things that don't matter if you just have like one or two, but I feel like once you start to exceed like five, it is, it is a nice little boost, so uh, yeah. So let's, uh, let's play offense, let's see what happens today. Nuri. You really don't see her much. I'm excited to face her. I still don't remember what she does. Um... Niffle. Niffle does have, uh, we gotta remember, she does have Flash, but as long as we let Claude be the one who gets near saved, I don't actually think, um... The flash would go on him. So she is the seventh unit, so what would happen? Oh, he does kind of uh He does kind of counter <laughs> Fey. He is effective against Dragon, so I'm wondering if there's any way to just only bait out the ranged units. That is something that we could try to do. Um, because if I snipe this catapult. Uh, we do take on Flora. Unfortunately, Peony won't reach because she doesn't have aerobatics. I wish she was running aerobatics, that would make my life much easier. Uh, but what we could do is actually bait from this spot, maybe. Uh, bait from this spot with, uh, Claude. And then, you know, even if the other units somehow- even if Peony doesn't get baited, although she will, I don't see why she wouldn't. Uh, so yeah, what's probably gonna happen is- we bait from here, Peony's gonna get baited first. Or does she dance? I don't actually know. If she does 5 damage, she should attack first, right? And I do think she will do at least 5 damage to Claude. So she'll probably attack Claude. And then, like, Saros will move. All the- all these units will move. Uh, and then, since Saros won't be there any longer, Flora should also attack. Uh, if unit initiates combat, grants defense plus 20 to unit during combat. I'm not super worried. Also, the fact that she's running bonfire- actually, hold on. So, defense plus 20. Uh, and sturdy impact. That's defense plus 30. So she's got 49 defense. Yeah, bonfire actually is better on her than, uh, than, uh, iceberg. That's so funny. That's awesome. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I think we're going to do, because my initial plan would have been if this was not Eliwood and this was not Marth, both of whom are very, very bad to Faye. If these two units did not exist, I probably would have just put uh, Brave Claude here, had near save behind him, and then everything would have just been fine. But uh, we don't have that ability. Um... So we're just gonna do what I was talking about. Put Claude over there. 
and it should be fine. And we'll have Nana and Thor in a position that makes it easy to clean up next turn. Faye, just keep her away from everyone, basically. Um, we really don't want her to die. Uh, yeah. So we'll probably just go in next turn. We don't really need to snipe anything. Uh, their catapult does get my safe defense, so we just gotta be careful not to be in a ranged turn one, which we're not. Um, and Duma snipes my bright shrine, I'm pretty sure. But not like that really matters. Oh, we also need her to be within menace range. Um, so if she's here, she'll go one, two, three, four for the menace on Duma, yeah. We need her to soak the bright shrine, so, uh, yeah. Actually, we might actually be able to snipe Sarah, so we don't actually kill. Um, then maybe there's no point. If we dance with Plumeria, it might work. So maybe it's worth it for next turn? Or do we just go in this turn and not worry about Saros right now? Um, I'm probably going to swap out the attack speed soul and Asher for something a bit more supportive, especially yes. if I'll be using her often as the one within two spaces of Claude. But for now, do I also want Plumeria within two spaces? That is the question, right? Because the answer might be yes. She does give extra attack, so maybe yeah, maybe we'll go in turn three. We'll put her here. And Nana needs to stay there for the menace. So we'll leave her there. And next turn, Claude should still be. Yeah, Claude should not be debuffed. That's awesome. Does anyone have, uh, like, some kind of sudden panic effect? Or. Uh, she's got chill attack, but that's different. I was thinking uh, sabotage. Doesn't look like it. So I can actually kill. So I think I'm going to do that. I don't see why I wouldn't. Oh, and that way we know for sure Peony will attack because then she won't dance Niffle because the seventh unit only gets, like, danced if um, we haven't taken out any units. So let's take out Saros. Uh, we don't really get anything out of Dancing Claude. Actually, no, we do get debuffs. Where are these buffs coming from? Oh, from Peony's dance. Uh, but she won't dance next turn. So anyway, we do get debuffs on them, which is nice. So uh, yeah, Peony and Flora will just attack. And uh, aside from that, we just leave. Nana will easily be able to take out Duma, no problem. Um, so we'll just leave her here. Ashera, might as well leave her here. And that's end turn. Oh, I gotta turn on animations, and let's see it. He probably won't preempt Flora, but... Oh. So I didn't think of that. So we don't actually get Flora this turn. But that's fine. We can take her out next turn. And now it's just... There's no Dancer. Uh, we gotta remember he has even Tempest, so uh, don't leave... Don't leave Nana here. But we can just snipe Elliewood. That's not a problem. Uh, and then just get ready to snipe these units next turn. And also grab that last pot. Marth should be snipable. He, we do have damage reduction from Niffle, so yeah, we managed to take out Niffle. The fact that she doesn't get one-shotted... Is a, like, the fact that I don't double her is a little bit upsetting, but that's okay. Oh, at least we got the Ruptured Sky, or Deadeye, my bad. This is it. I was so used to running Ruptured Sky on him for so long in AR that, like, it's weird not to anymore. Uh, and actually, we just take out Marth, and this is a good position to be in, because uh, after that, we just... Duma doesn't have boots, so he cannot reach Claude, and we do take out Flora. Like, there's just no way that we don't beat this Flora. So, let's just get 
people in position to grab that last pot. Yeah, so we don't one-shot, uh, but she does not do much damage either. So we're all good. I would like to grab that. Um... Then we can just take out Duma. Yeah. Sounds good. Yes. Wow. Why does that not kill anymore? Uh, if we dance, it should, right? Yes. All right. I don't know why. What changed there? Oh, cause Claude had a bunch more buffs, and her weapon works off of visible buffs. That's fine though. We still get the kill. I think we would have been fine regardless. Because Duma had Vantage, he didn't have Bold Fighters, so he couldn't have doubled Claude. It's fine. <laughs> Alright, another successful scheme. Nuri, I really like your flora. So let's take a look at the defense results. Let's look at the loss first. I've already watched these. This replay definitely exposed some weaknesses of my team, although they have a cavalry school level 10 max level, uh, and I think that's kind of what crippled my team here. I think I would have been much better off if they did not have that there, but uh, this definitely exposed a couple weaknesses with my team. So first of all, they've got Faye, uh, they've got plus five Regan, just a base Henriette. My team, my old team, would definitely beat this, and I think this one would have too if it weren't for the cavalry school. Uh, Elamine, who doesn't have isolation, but um, they've also got the tactics room hitting Azura, so she can't come down and dance Claude. That's not nice. Uh, plus one Pumeria and Ymir. So they are actually able to just do this, and uh, normally Reinhardt, Speedheart, easily deals with uh, Henriette's, but because of the minus 11, he's actually not able to quad. So, uh, otherwise, he easily would have, or he would have gotten off a really big Luna, which would have gotten us a lot closer to the job. Um, but yeah, weren't able to take out the Henriette. And then, uh, Fafnir is very much not able to take out Henriette. <laughs> Debated giving him Water Sweep, but honestly, Wind Sweep has been much more useful overall. Uh, and now it's a lot easier to just go ahead and snipe the rest of the units on my team. Uh, Odor is easily snipeable by Regan, even though he's bonus. She's able to one shot with Scyther Shell. And then after that, uh, Claude does not have the three movement anymore, so on his own. He's not very threatening. So yeah, like, they just bait out Azura, but Ymir has- does she come with DC or did they give her that? I think they gave her that, right? She doesn't come with that by base. Oh, is it in her weapon? Does she have distant counter in her- oh, the seal! I forgot that exists. Okay, yeah. But now Claude really just is an easy target uh, for anyone melee. So they take him out, and then Duma on his own. Even though, uh, oh, we're not running the boots on him anymore because he has DC, but yeah. And now they can just easily grab the pots. And next turn they just grab the last pot and then just finish him off and they just enemy phase him with Faye. So yeah, uh, if you've got a max level cavalry school that lines up perfectly, you will beat my team. <laughs> uh, but let's take a look at this win. So, uh, plus zero Plumeria, Elamine, they do have a Fjorm who actually gets off uh, her isolation on my dancer, so uh, that's a thing, so Claude won't be able to be danced. That was a weakness of the old team too, though. If someone brings along isolation, the seventh unit doesn't get danced. Uh, they've got a Roy, summoner supported, with Kestrel stance, uh, legendary Fey and Regan. So I mean, 
they don't actually snipe. I don't snipe their uh, safe defense because Duma um, doesn't run, isn't running upheaval. But yeah. So Fafnir just demolishes Roy. Not a good matchup for Roy. Uh, he does have wind sweep, so Roy couldn't even counter attack. Um, and then here, an interesting phenomenon happens. So, obviously, the miracle activates, but because Reinhardt has Fatal Smoke, she cannot heal with life and ending, and she doesn't kill him. So then what happens is we have Wings of Mercy Odor, and he just swoops in and kills her. For Fafnir, who was also on the team, I just realized I have both of them on the team together. Uh, but yeah, Fatal Smoke, awesome. Fatal Smoke, Pog. So yeah, they just surrendered here. So, sorry about that. Wish it had counted for my replays, though. Uh, but yeah, that was today's AR. Pretty quick, pretty, uh, painless. Um, don't know if I'll be doing this again. Once again, no promises for the rest of the week. Uh, but, you know, as I feel like it, as I have time, I will try and keep doing this. Because you guys seem to like the one from yesterday. So, uh, I'm, I'm happy to be making content again. Honestly, I was really low on motivation for Faye in the past few months alongside finishing up my degrees. So definitely a lot of stress, definitely not a lot of motivation to make content, but I feel like ever since graduating and honestly in the past month or so, my my like passion for the game has just been revitalized. So I'm definitely feeling a lot happier and more excited to be making content. And I hope that's showing through um, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying the new content. Before ending off today's video, I wanted to give a huge shout out to my members. Thank you so much to all the Promenaders. Super appreciate you guys and your support. Um, especially, I don't have a job now. Uh, I am job searching, but I don't have a job now. So you guys are very, very much appreciated. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.